We are in the kitchen this Monday morning with Serenity Noel, Margie Kendall from over there. Margie, so good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm going to say Happy New Year because I haven't seen you since it's been 2019. Happy New Year to you too. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so, you know, we were just talking about how you were going to make dim sum, but Correct. you decided to switch things up. And so tell us a little bit about what you're cooking today and why you decided to change this. it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll definitely do dim sum another time, but we've been getting tons of requests for healthy alternatives. People, it's the new year, everyone has New Year's resolutions, mm -hmm. so people are going gluten-free, they want to eat lighter, they right. um, want to reduce their carb count, and so um, I'm going to talk a little about some of our healthy alternatives classes today. Perfect, that sounds wonderful. And that's one thing that you guys have such a variety of classes offered at We do, Renal. we do. Like we mentioned dim sum, mm -hmm. and you guys have a healthy alternatives, and so this is just one of the things that people can learn how to make at the Healthy Alternatives class, right? Correct, yes. This is actually gonna be a spaghetti squash um, pasta, but it's gonna have some bacon, so it's still have a little bit of, uh, you know, tasty goodness right. in there. It's gonna have some goat cheese, some spinach, and we're gonna make that later. Um, but spaghetti squash is a great low-carb alternative to pasta, and you can really elevate it and make it take, taste just as good. You won't even be missing those noodles or those, um, you know, the gluten or the right. carbs that are, come with pasta. And I actually love the texture of spaghetti squash. Yeah. Normally, I'm like a huge texture eater. Yeah, yeah. But I like the texture of spaghetti squash. Well, it has a lot of the texture crunchy. of spaghetti. Yeah, it's a little bit yeah. crunchy and it has the same sort of thing. So you can actually cook it with any sort of, um, you know, sauce that you would use for pasta. Mm -hmm. um, in our healthy alternatives class, we also do some kale salad with mm -hmm. some marinated tofu. Oh, wonderful. Um, so you can do some vegan options. And we also do a um, coconut cauliflower soup. It tastes really creamy, but it's still vegan. There's oh, wow. No, there's no dairy that's in it. That's wonderful. And so spaghetti squash, you know, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people, they may like the taste, but the idea of cooking it can be really intimidating. Definitely. So give us some tips on how you cooked your spaghetti squash or how people can cook it at home. So before I got here today, I took the spaghetti squash and cut it in half, okay. and then I just did a little bit of olive oil on it, just a light amount, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, mm -hmm. put it in at 400 for about 40 minutes or so, just so it softens up. And then it really, it softens up like this, and you can just peel it with this fork. And do you put it face down? or Face down, face, face down. down, yeah, face down. And then all you have to do is take it out, take a fork and scrape at it, and it has this really unique texture to it. Yeah. So it comes out just looking like a bowl of spaghetti, basically. It really does. The color, I mean, it does look like yeah, spaghetti, it does. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can really fool your yourself with Wonderful. it. So, um, so there's a lot of things you can do. Like today we're going to do the sauce in the next segment, but um, you can just put some of your favorite marinara sauce on it. I mean, if you're still, you can still use some, you know, Alfredo or something. Right. You still want to have a little bit of yummy goodness in there. So, um, so you, you can get cut really it creative. out with the pasta. Definitely. Absolutely. And so, you know, besides the healthy alternatives classes that you all are hosting, give us some of the updates of what it is that's happening at Serenity Noel for the new year. Well, some of our more popular classes, we do biscuits from scratch. It's really popular. It sells out almost every time. It's so good. Um, we do a lot of fresh pasta classes. We have a wood-fired pizza oven, so we do wood-fired pizza parties. It's perfect for a group of friends or Even family. Even when it's cold outside? Even when it's cold <laughs> outside. Yeah, we make our pizzas and eat them inside, but we get to yeah. go outside, but those pizzas cook in about two minutes, so they cook real wow. fast in our oven. Oh, so, wow. That's yeah. nice. And who can say no to pizza even when it's cold outside. Exactly, right? yeah. <laughs> and so for those that may not be familiar with Serenity Noel, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so we started doing cooking classes out there in May. Um, we're out in Jonesboro, about four miles from downtown. Um, we're a great industrial kitchen. We can do classes for up to um, 12, um, sometimes even 20 people if you have a big group that want to mm -hmm. do some group activities. Um, we offer a wide range of cooking classes from different types of cuisine. I mean, we have some healthy cuisine. We also do, you know, we do some fresh pasta classes. We right. do um, some, you know, um, special dishes. We also hire a lot of other chefs locally to come out and teach classes. So we have um, James Allen for the Blackthorn Club coming out next month to do some risotto with us. We have Chef Nathan Brand coming out to do a perfect steak dinner class. Um, so we really have a really wide variety of different things going on. Um, a little bit of things for everyone, every budget, um, any skill level too. That's wonderful. And what's great too is that you guys supply all of the ingredients. We do. And all of the supplies that you need to create the we dish do. as well. We do. Yep. And you get to sit and eat it as well. So there you go. Why not? And you guys have actually amazing sunsets as well. We do. I've seen pictures on your on your Instagram page and on your Facebook, mm -hmm. and the sunsets are amazing. So just We're imagine being able to eat the food that you just made watching the sunset. It's it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's it quite really an experience. Is. Yes. And so if people want to find out some more about the classes that you guys have, how can they find that? So go to our website, serenitynoel.com, but also follow us on Facebook. We put up a, bunch of, a lot of events of the things that we have going on. Um, also follow us on Instagram at Serenity Noel Cooking School. Um, you can see a lot of visually the classes that we do and if that doesn't get you hungry for it then I don't know. Yeah you can see everyone having a good time making those yeah. biscuits or pasta or spaghetti squash whatever yes. it may be. Well thanks again Margie we always appreciate it and you Thank can go you. to serenitynull.com for more information.